Well, hello and welcome back to Crozard Model Railway. Uh, as you can see, I've started a little bit on some of the ground cover in uh, the my yards, well, my my shed area is probably the best way to put it. Um, apart from sand, uh, which is that's pet sand that I use with the spiders. It comes from it's just a bag of quite fine sand from the pet shop. Um, I have used um, Javis scenic stuff as normal because it's affordable and it does the job. And so I've made up my own blends and I've used like that stone is just simply. A sort of grey stone scatter, run it along the track. It's almost almost like ballast, but I'm not ballasting properly because if a, is it a point decides it wants to stop working, it's going to be so much easier to just check the fish plates around, take it out, put a new one in, rather than scrape up ballast. Yank it out, make sure it's screw it's all perfectly flat as no ballast, put it back in and re ballast it. It's just easier to leave nothing between the rails and as much as possible off the sleepers. Although I have got some on the sleepers, but that's not the end of the world. It has gone up into the shed, so there's the two on offers. Trying a spring mix of grass as well as my normal summer mix, so a little bit of variety. Um, this is only really ground cover and a few bushes and rocks. There's not a lot of trees or big shrubs gone in yet. Uh, it's just got to cover the ground. So essentially, this is. You'd be walking along here, going up. Next is to the signal box. Signal box? That's just a signal. There's your signal box. <laughs> oh, it's been a long day. And none of these buildings have been stuck down yet, so I can still reposition them how I want to or how I need to. So... I do apologise about the dog barking, I have no idea where it is. This is not my one. And so, I'm trying to figure out how the best place to put all these different buildings is. A large lamp, large, large yard lamp, like in English today. Um, I haven't got a water tower here yet, but there will be one going in. Probably here, uh, or more likely about here-ish, and then a water crane up here, which would be linked to the tower, which would be here, so a small engine can come in and re refill its water tank, or these two can come out and have their water tanks and tenders refilled. My lord, the yard lamp is... I am really not English and well today. <laughs> it's off to one side. So I can have the crane in the middle. And also provides as much light coverage as possible. And I come over here. Done the same sort of thing here. Where I have just put in uh, what was left of a small bag of green lichen into that area. I have no idea what's going back there. I have an idea of uh, putting an old Hornby 040 there and just covering it and liking so that you can barely see it like a long abandoned locomotive that's been overgrown. But most of these buildings aren't stuck down, although I will admit that coal platform is. I put some more coal as if it's spinning down, some down to the side. Aberdeen Commonwealth. Uh, 
I do need to sort of figure out exactly what sort of brown colour I'm doing. And of this colour, you kind of can't see that there's nothing between the rails so easily. You know, it's just bare cork. It's the sort of dirty looking stone colour. Now I'll go and show the good shit, so I'll go under. That's the sort of the effect I'm going for. Basic, but it will be done. So sort of a second coat will be put on. At some point, that's just sort of an idea of what it well, could have been, what it could look like, but I will add more. But hit to the goods yard. It's a little bit simpler up here because it is just the pet sound. Just focus, there we go. So that's Maxon, Maxon, and then there's the lorry for it. Or scam specifically coming in. Some more of the grey. Mostly it's done as a sand to fit in with the dirt roads around the village area, around here. Just to the ease and simpleness of it. But this does mean I've got easier access into my goods yard for actual shunting. So that area has not been done yet, but I will get into that with some stone, I think. Go along that the siding there and along that section of it with some of the front of the building with some stone. That little hut's been stuck down. Like sort of brought the flowers a bit more out. But all in all, um, as a as a base layer. I'm happy with it, and I was going to have more added to it, so it'll be a bit more interesting to look at than just sand or stone. So I've got some little bushes, I've got some tufts of grass, got static grass. Well, I don't have a static grass applicator. I do get, I think, I can find some, some here. I'm okay enough to finish. You can tell it's grass, it has a different texture. Um, and there's some more on the base of the tree. Lost focus, there we go. So it looks okay. And there's the Kumaha, which is there for a video I'll be doing separately to this one in a bit. But um, that's the scenery that I've been doing uh, at Crowswood. Um, there is a long brick wall it's going to serve as a sort of retaining wall for the long hill which goes up to the edge of the layout on the edge of the boards and there'll be a separate hill where the pillbox is and then a separate hill where the anti-aircraft guns are back there so Yeah, I think that's pretty much it. My brain doesn't want to work properly, but <laughs> I've swapped that signal box, which used to be there with the little one, which is now there. Just because I think it might, it just looks a little bit better to me. There's more points going on here, so bigger signal box. But that's it so far. Now what I'm going to do is I'll upload this and then I will show essentially what this is for. Whoop, so I'll see you in the next one. Which I know I'm going to just film with my phone now.